following tutorial is going to show you how to make a multiple choice question in Flash um, just using one column for keyframes, so making movie clips visible and invisible. All right, so you can see that I have a multiple choice question up on the screen, and basically all that happens is when you click the right answer, it tells you you're right. You click the wrong answer, you are in, it tells you you're wrong. So uh, what color is grass? I will click green, which is the correct answer. That is correct. Grass is green, and just a little explanation about why. And I could have a next button that takes me to the next question, or something along those lines. All right, so how do I make this? Very easily. First thing I did, and I actually have a movie that's completely made. It's easier for me to do this than to go through and make it with you. Um, it just doesn't make sense to do that. All right, so the first thing that I did is I needed to make three movie clips and an invisible button. Um, so I made one movie clip, which is simply my question. This is my question. Notice that it's just one uh, keyframe with a stop action. I made a movie clip for my right answer, which again is one keyframe and a stop action. And I made a movie clip for my incorrect answer, one keyframe and a stop action. Now notice I don't have any motion tweens or anything. I could definitely do that as well. I just chose to make this as easy as possible for this tutorial and show you how to do it just making still text. But I, this could be a motion clip, a motion tween if I wanted it to be. Then. I made an invisible button, which is just simply a button in my hit area. So I made those four symbols, and you do that by going insert, new symbol, you know, button, movie clip, graphic. So I used, I made three movie clips and a button. When I created them, they all went into my library. So there's these four objects now in my library. All right, so how did I actually make it? Okay, next thing I did is I made five layers down below. One for each of the symbols that I just made and one for my actions. So I made a layer for my question, a layer for my right answer, a layer for my wrong answer, a layer for my buttons, and a layer for my actions. And then all I did is I drug everything from the library onto my screen in each one of the corresponding layers. Now you can see that my screen looks really messy so if I make these uh, hide them so right now I'll hide everything but the question by just clicking this little eye right here. You can see that I drug my question movie clip right onto the screen like so. And you can see how I did that. All right. So after I took the question, I drug my right answer onto the screen. Then I drug my wrong answer onto the screen. And then I drug my buttons onto the screen and made sure that each invisible button corresponded to a quet answer. Okay, so then what I had to do is I had to make sure I gave everything an instance name. So each of my movie clips and my buttons needed an instance name. So let's start from the beginning. My question instance name, which is a movie clip, if I go up to my properties, I called it question one. My right answer, I called right. My wrong answer, I called wrong. Then each of my buttons also needed an instance name. So this is wrong button one, wrong button two, wrong button three. My right answer is called correct button. And then the whole rest of this movie is all in the actions. So we go into our actions and take a look what's going on. Okay, the first thing that happens here is that I have to create a stop action, obviously, so my movie doesn't loop itself. All right, so the first thing I see is this right and wrong visible happening. Essentially, what I'm doing. Is I when someone goes and plays my movie, I only want them to see this. I only want them to see the question and the buttons. Well, they're, the buttons are invisible, but they have to be there. So I want the right and wrong feedback to be invisible. So I say wrong, which is the movie, the instance name of my movie clip, wrong feedback, 
dot visible equals false so that it's not visible so they can't see it so when we play my movie you cannot see the right and wrong feedback okay so then they're gonna pick a question when they get the correct answer right everything on the screen needs to be invisible except the correct answer so here is the code for my correct answer you can see that I have created a function correct answer just like I create any other button correct button so this correct button right here corresponds to the instance name of green which is my correct answer so this is just a basic button so this stuff that's I'm highlighting right now you should all know how to do then the actual code is right in here in the button basically all I'm doing is I'm saying make everything invisible except the right answer feedback so when they click the right answer everything becomes invisible except the correct answer feedback so I make question one which is the instance name of my question invisible I make my correct button so all my buttons my correct button and all my wrong buttons they need to equal invisible as well so I want them all to be visible equals false they can't be visible because what will happen is even though you can, uh, can't see them you'll still be able to click on them through this correct answer feedback so you don't want that so you need to make every so basically you make everything invisible except you what you want to appear on the screen so only my correct answer feedback is visible my wrong answer is gonna follow the same logic I have a wrong answer and then I call my wrong answers okay now this is something that's new to the guys in my class um, we talked about functions but you only have to write the function one time and then you can call it as many times as you need to so I can keep calling this wrong answer function many times so for each wrong answer button that I have created I need to create I need to call it so I have wrong button one which is blue wrong button two which is the instance name of orange and wrong button three which is the instance name of white and I've just called the same thing for each of them that's just calling this function wrong answer so basically whenever you click either of these the exact same thing is gonna happen that's what I'm telling you to do when you click any of the wrong answers the same thing is gonna happen okay so it's the same thing here that I did in the above question everything is invisible except my wrong answer feedback I make all the buttons invisible and I make the question invisible make sense and that's it that's how you make an invisible uh, that's how you make a multiple choice in flash